Hi all, uh, welcome to example 3 in Mercator Ceiling Calculations. The links to example 1 and 2 are in the description section below. So I'll advise you watching all these examples to get an idea of how to solve questions that involve Mercator Ceiling. So the difference between plane ceiling and Mercator Ceiling as you probably know is that uh, plane ceiling is used for distances less than 600 nautical miles where the curvature of the earth can be ignored for uh, distance and course calculations we assume that courses are drawn as uh, straight lines whereas uh, mercator ceiling is based on a rum line ceiling uh, where uh, we have to take into account the curvature of the earth um, and this involves distances greater than 600 nautical miles although the assumption here is that the longitudes are equally placed from one another they are equidistant it's the latitudes which are at different distances from each other and the distance between each latitude increases as you go from the equator towards the poles and the distance between these latitudes can be calculated using the meridional parts table so let's get started and see what i'm talking about so the question here says that you have to find by the mercator selling method the true course and the distance from cape town the latitude and longitude is given here to New York and again the latitude and longitude is given here. So of course by common sense you can assume that or you can guess that uh, the distance between Cape Town and New York will definitely more than be more than 600 nautical miles and uh, you will use the Mercator sailing method here and the rum line sailing. So let's get started with the how to solve the question. So what you do is write down the latitude and longitudes given to you from departure position so Cape Town is departure position and New York will be arrival position you are departing Cape Town, Cape Town and you will be arriving New York so if you have both the latitudes so let's calculate the DLAT the rule of thumb is different names you will add the two latitudes if they were same names you would be subtracting the two latitudes from one another so they are same names you will add the two latitudes same names uh, they are different names sorry one is south and the other is north from south you are going towards north so this is south and you are going towards north so of course you are you are going in a northerly direction so your d lat resulting d lat would be north when you add the two values together you get 74 degrees 34 minutes uh, why 34 because 54 plus 40 is 94 you cannot have 94 minutes you cannot have more than 60 minutes so you will subtract 60 but that will give one degree here so 60 minus 94 is of course 34 one degree goes here so 34 plus 40 is 74 degrees but we want to convert this into minutes so how do we convert into minutes 74 multiplied by 60 gives you the minutes so 74 by 60 in your calculator will give you 4440 then add the remaining minutes to it plus 34 and you get 4474 minutes all right and then you have the longitude uh, 18 degrees 25 minutes east and 74 minutes west so that means uh, you are now going from east to west so you are going in a westerly direction so from east you are going west so basically you are going in a northwest direction so again different names you will add same names you will subtract right so if i can draw this diagram here this will give you a better sense here although you're going from south to north you are going like this so this is south and this is north and you can say something like this so this is a northwesterly direction right this is cape town and this is new york figuratively speaking and just we are getting some concepts drawn here so again add the two together you get 92 degrees 25 minutes convert 92 degrees 25 minutes into minutes how do you do that 92 by 60 92 by 60 will give you 5520 add the remaining minutes to it 25 and you get 5545 five. that's how i got 5545 five, five here this is d long and this is d lat all right i'll erase some of these lines otherwise it's becoming too cluttered here so it's become more clearer to you all right now what else you can do you can also from the two latitudes calculate the meridional parts of the two latitudes only take the latitude so in this case the cape town latitude is 
33 degrees 54 minutes north and south doesn't matter and new york latitude is 40 degrees 40 minutes all right so let's go into the northeast tables and in northeast tables you have the meridional paths tables i'll show you how they look like and let's find out the latitude uh, the meridional paths value for 33 54 and 40 40 40 degrees 40 minutes right so i'll go here i'll go into the meridional pass table this is what it looks like uh, you should have the nautical uh, the northeast tables with you not the nautical almanac the northeast tables so for 3354 will be somewhere here so if i switch on the pen here i'll use the red pen so you can see the horizontal column has all the degrees so this is 33 degrees and the vertical column has all the minutes so 54 minutes is somewhere here in the vertical column so for 33 degrees you go down the 33 degrees column and for 54 minutes you go down the you go across the 54 minutes row you will meet somewhere here so it will be 2151.19 2151.19 no interpolation required this is pretty straightforward uh, some other questions i'll show you the interpolation as well and then it will become clear to you the next degree is the 40 degrees right and you also have the 40 minutes here so do the same for 40 degrees and 40 minutes you will meet somewhere here and you have 2659.91 2659.91 all right you can pause the video here look at it carefully if you need some more time but i will go back to the calculation so you can see that those are the values i've written down 2151.19 and 2659.91 because one was south and the other one was north same rules apply as that of DLAT if they are opposite names you will add the two to find the DMP DMP stands for difference in the meridional parts if they were the same names such as south and south and north and north you would have subtracted it same rules as DLAT so once you add the two you get 4811.10 then once you've got the three values you've got the DLAT you've got the d long and the dmp all you have to do is put them in the formula here so the first formula is tan course equals d long by dmp you have d long 5545 five, five. you will write it in minutes the rule of thumb is if there is no sine cos tan cosecant secant cotangent before the value always write it in minutes if you're writing in degrees then it should be preceded by one of the sine cos tans or cotangent secants or cosecants so d long divided by dmp put in the values here dmp values here d long value comes from here and you get tan cos equals 1.15254 take tan to the other side becomes tan inverse what you get is 49 degrees but this is not the course you have to name the course so we name it north and west why because the d light is north and the d long was west also above we saw that's the direction we were proceeding in in the diagram all right so once you name it north 49 degrees west this becomes equal to 311 degrees true how because if this is north and north is 360 degrees and west is 270 degrees and you are going somewhere here north to west north west 49 degrees would be 360 minus 49 311 degrees so this is 360 minus 49 degrees 311 degrees true then the next formula is distance equals d light by cos cos you know the d light from above put the value here 4474 cos of course so course will be cos 311 degrees even if you had put 49 degrees you would get the same answer sometimes you get a negative value you should ignore the negative value all right so if you divide 4474 divided by cos of 311 degrees you will get 6819.50 so again depends on how many decimal places you took so this can be somewhere close to that so these values will differ based on the number of decimal places you take so i have taken all the decimal places or if i take less decimal places if i take all the decimal places i will get 6819.51 if you take lesser decimal places you will get somewhere here so i have put down both the values because uh, these values differ as per the number of decimal places you take in your calculator so somewhere in this range you will get the answer now if you ask me what is the right answer well the right answer will vary of course this is 
distances involving huge distances huge numbers so it cannot be accurately the same number all of you will get slightly different numbers like again i said based on the number of decimal places you use so you can try it out so if you use only two decimal places you will get a different answer from three or from one decimal place or if you ignore the decimal place somewhere around this range the answer should be correct so your examiner or your assessor will know that you have done the correct thing if the answer is too significantly different more than 100 miles 200 300 miles then of course this is only difference of seven nautical miles so within this range if you get the answer you should be all right so i'll see you uh, with my next video and keep following these videos keep practicing uh, and then you will get better at this bye